Hi everyone, welcome back to another anime review. We are reviewing A Troubled Life of whatever the hell her name is. It's in the sky description down below. I can't speak Japanese, so leave me alone the mic! So anyway, the, the main character has the most darkest past ever, to my opinion. She has psychic powers, okay? And because of her psychic powers, she can read minds. Um, all her friends decide to get, get pissed off at her because she tells everyone that people like certain types of boys and girls. This is an elementary school and they want, and because of that reason, they want her to get treated like shit. That's what happens. Um, at some point she decides to do some, uh, hike of a bog shit and decide to destroy some kid's mind because he's because she is, he is picking on her and he and he falls down and it's pretty fucking dark. Her two closest friends decide to leave her because they don't want to deal with her anymore. Okay, this is an elementary school. As her family as her as for her family members, she she has a problem because she tells the secret of her dad cheating on her mother and her mother cheating on her dad, I believe. No, wait, no. Her dad's cheating on her mother, and he and she decides to tell that to everyone because she's cheating on her with his secretary. Um, that's what mostly people do when they're in office jobs. That's what happens. Um, however, when she finds out about this, they decide to break up, and they decide to go their separate ways. As for the mother, the mother decides to um, the mother decides to leave the ki her psychic kid back. Home with her with her rich grandpa her grandpa I believe and when before she leaves she says that I wish you weren't my daughter and she decides to go all Higarashi mode with her eyes and she just completely shuts out. It's pretty dark and depressing and I think it's really fucking good of a storytelling. She decides to shut everyone out. Um, she goes to high school first, and then we get to meet the other three main characters. Well, the other five characters. When it comes to the other five characters, we'll get into them when she meets them. The first main character she sees is the perverted jackass who falls in love with her. Uh, he has perverted thoughts and he's a fucking pervert. Uh, he wants to see her naked and blah blah this, blah blah that. That's what happens when it comes to this anime. The guy's a fucking pervert. Now, when it comes to his main character, he does get a little old and stale when it comes to his pervertedness. Because he's there the whole entire way, but yeah. It does get a little refresher because at some point she gets she loses her powers of her psychic powers because she gets sick. But after she gets her powers back, she decides to kick the crap out of them. Well, one the, while her senior does because that's what happens. So that's what happens with him. Um, <clears throat> now in the beginning part, there's the third main character. She has an issue with um, she has an issue. With her, the second girl being with her, with the pervert because she likes the pervert, um, because he's a nice guy. Most pervert, per, most. This is what they're doing. They're making the perverted guy so nice. He doesn't care if she has psychic powers or stuff like that. And she loves him. She, he loves her. Sorry, the second girl. So she gets jealous and decides to torment her. At to the break of point. She decides, because she works, because she's at a dojo. She she works kendo, I believe, or kenjo, or judo, or whatever the hell it's called. And she has her boys beat the crap out of the perverted guy. He goes straight to the fucking hospital. And be, she's like, she's like fucking mentally, mentally crazy. She doesn't know what the fuck to do. But then the second girl says that it's all right. We'll figure it out because she knows because she read her mind when she was panicking. Um, but she doesn't. But the girl with the psychic powers does not tell anyone. That's the main thing, and because of that reason, she decides to move on. Um, when it comes to the girl, after that, after that scenario. She decides to flip the switch and be nice to her because she isn't because the psychic girl is nice. She just wants friends, and that's why she likes friends. Okay, okay. So then she decides to be friends with her. That's a good sign. They're all being friendly towards each other. After that, though, she does confess his love to him, but he 
completely rejects her, which is perfectly fine. That's what you're. That's when you're in love with someone else, which is a psychic girl. Which at that point she's in trouble. But we'll get to that when we get to that. And then she feels better. She does. She cries, and then she's pretty much, uh, you know, tries to help her friend because they're both buddies now. So after that, um. We have two more main characters. The main character of the seniors, which is a girl that has a tragic past, and I'll get to her later. And the guy who's an airhead. Now, the guy who's an airhead is the senior. You might think that he's taller than everyone. No, he's fucking, he looks like a fucking elementary school kid with glasses. Um, he, he's, the girl that the I haven't mentioned, she likes him, but he's too much of a fucking airhead to realize it because he's an idiot. Um, that's the main problem because he helped her, him, her out because her mom was the, a detective and I can't really explain both characters separately, but he decided to help her out when she was getting picked on and he, she fell in love with her, what love with him because of it. Now, when it comes to the main girl, that's a senior, she, uh, she is sort of depressed and she wants to get justice for what happened. Because my her mom was a detective and she was also a psychic. She can also read minds. Um, the, pr the problem is someone told her that she was faking the tabloids, I believe, or in a newspaper. And the, all the negativity going towards her, she decides to hang her. Her mother, tries to, her mother hangs herself. And she walks in as she sees it. And she's fucking depressed and fucking terrified of this shit. It's really fucking depressing, to be honest with you. But to be honest with you, it's just like that. It's like, what the fuck am I watching here? Is this like a fucking horror movie or some shit? So after that, she wants to get justice for the people that are treating her like shit. Now then, as we get along with this stuff, um, the main psychic power girl gets kidnapped by, uh, by one of the sheriffs because she's a psycho and the fact that she has a split personality. Um, she used to beat the crap out of bullies that treat her like shit, you know? So she wants to beat the crap out of kids. Um, other than that though, I think this anime is really fucking good. Um, I think it's really good. Um, if you want to, if you want to watch it, it's 12 episodes. It's not going to take you very long. Um, it's only in sub, it's not dub yet, which I don't know if it will ever get dubbed, but we'll find, we'll see, we'll wait and see, because it is a new anime. Um, I think that this anime deserves to get, um, a talking to, um, I don't think that it's really, there are some things I don't like about it, like, for example, the pervert, like I said before, the pervert gets a little stale after a while, um, she does lose her powers, which kind of... Which that episode was good because I didn't have to see the pervertedness jackass. And the fact that when he, when you find out that she gets her powers back in the, at the end of the episode. They decide to beat the crap out of him. Which I think was fucking funny. <laughs> but I'm going to give this one a 7. Uh, I think this one was a lot worse than the drugstore world in the, another world. Because I think that that anime has its own flaws but at least it doesn't show it off and all the characters of from drugstore from another world bounce all the characters bounce off each other really good this anime however it's only like a couple characters that bounce off of each other but they're not very good at bouncing off of each other like there's some awkwardness between the between the guy with the glasses and the main character who has the psychic powers, they do not mash up together. I mean, they only talk like a few times and they, and by themselves. And that's the main issue. And when they do do it, the guy's just being a jackass, you know, you don't understand it. And that's the main problem I have with it. Um, some characters don't bounce off with each other like usual. Soundtrack's pretty good. Um, I thought it was really interesting. Theme song, uh, forgettable. Um, so yeah, that's why it gets a seven, not an eight like the last anime review. But it gets a seven, so I'm gonna give this one a seven. Hope you guys have a nice, positive day. Take care and always stay positive. Okay, we got one more anime to do, and it's gonna be the longest one, to my opinion, because there's too many fucking characters. But yeah, stay home for that. I'm gonna be refreshing up and always stay positive, everyone. <laughs>